Now at 5 on KMTV, four months, commuters have been forced to find alternate routes to get on northbound 680 due to construction on the ramp from I-80. But now the barricades are coming down. Reporter Joe Kadat is live with more on when that ramp will open and the detours people have been dealing with. Joe. For more than seven months, construction along I-680 has caused headaches for thousands of drivers on the way to work and home from work in the afternoon across West Omaha. But tomorrow morning, everything opens back up. While access to I-680 is about to get significantly better for thousands of drivers, for Joe Fortina, it means much more for his camera business. He says he's seen six to eight crashes happen over the summer. At least some of those he blames on 680 closures. Very frustrating. I, I had many a customer that would say, boy, it is just crazy out there. And then, of course, there were, I don't know exactly how many, but a number of accidents where people did try to make it through the two section, uh, two, two lane section there. And somebody on the inside would be flying by and, and would hit somebody trying to do business with us. For lifelong friends Karen McGinney and Julie Wright, it means hours added to their lives. Oh, definitely. That will help so much. Instead of just taking Pacific or Center or down Dodge, that will definitely help to get in and out. Joanne Gould says the I-680 work brought extra traffic through her neighborhood. So there's a lot of cars driving around, but there's a lot of kids and because people use our neighborhood to turn around and find a different route to go. So there's been a lot more just random cars pulling in my driveway and turning around because I live like two blocks off that intersection. While access to northbound I-680 from I and L streets reopens Thursday morning, the Department of Roads construction manager Marvin Leach says minor maintenance needs to be complete before the project is completely finished. To the drivers who ask, were the improvements worth more than seven months of delays for thousands of people? Down to a little bit of repair work on it or if you don't do that then it goes up it's a lot worse, and then you got to shut it down completely for a long time to rebuild the whole thing. So While the Department of Roads continues to do minor improvements to both the access routes from I and L to I-680, both of those access routes to the to the interstate will be completely reopened tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News.